Got a, yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. Yeah. So it's just like, I think he's Italian. Well, his last name is Maserati. And he's up in Boston. That sounds like some kind of pasta or something. Have you noticed that about Italians? Names sound like pasta. <laughs> Man, like some kind of sh- like rig- rigatoni. <laughs> What's your name? My name is uh, Tony Rigatoni. <laughs> I'm the Bob Boss up here. What's your middle name? Spaghetti. <laughs> What's your nickname? Meatball. <laughs> See, that was racial insensitive. That was racial insensitive. Am I apologize? Fuck no. <laughs> I think we got to start over, man. He's starting shit over. What's wrong with you? You going to start sensing yourself? <laughs> So Tony Maserati, he's a uh, he's a sports, in hot water. Yeah, he's a sports um, radio talk guy. Yeah, and he made some racially insensitive remarks yeah. about these couple of niggas sitting behind this. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give y'all some let me give y'all some backstory on this. Oh man! So they're doing the um. They're doing this radio podcast thing, right? Tony You're talking Mas- sports, right? Yeah, <laughs> Tony Maserati, right? <laughs> <laughs> they talking sports, right? Yeah. And um, and one of the guys on the podcast radio show with him, he's uh, he's uh, he's in New Orleans. He's doing the show remotely, right? Yeah, he's doing. A, he's being all ghetto about his stuff. Yeah, and he's I think act- he was in the lobby, huh? Yeah, he was in the lobby of a hotel in New Orleans. Mm. Now, New Orleans, I think that place is eighty percent black. <laughs> Every time I go, that's all you Might see. Might be ninety percent black. Man. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a it's chocolate city, man. Yeah, man. So he's sitting in the lobby, and then Tony Maserati says some racist shit. Well, it's not racist. <laughs> it's racially it was, insensitive. It was racially insensitive. Yeah, like, like what I say, it was racially insensitive. You know, it was racially insensitive. Even though a lot of that shit is true, a lot of times got nicknames Meatball. You know, what Meatball? Ain't nobody got no nickname, Meatball. I mean, we get, I mean every culture, every race, every, every ethnicity got some racially insensitive nicknames. Oh, I see. Look what black people call each other. They call each other the N-word, 24-7. What's up, Nick? Man, I ain't, I'm doing all right, Nick. Man, I'm just over here being a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, well, look at gay people. They call themselves the F-word all the time. Yeah. Okay, let's keep it about I'm just trying months. to make a point, man. All right, that's cool. It's only offensive when you're not included in that group. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying. Just laying down some some groundwork. Okay, so so his friend is doing the show remotely in New Orleans, <laughs> and there's a couple of black guys sitting in the back. And then what, what got Tony in trouble is what he said. Check it out. Yeah, I want to know now who the two guys behind you are. That's what I want. Okay. Because if I were you. I'll be off in two minutes. I'm just doing. I got just. If, if I'm too loud, just let me know. Honestly. <laughs> they can't. Two, two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay. No, so I would be careful if I were you because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. <laughs> Here's Chris in Boston. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, what's going on, guys? You didn't laugh. Um, I want to talk about. Oh, my God. I can't believe you just said yeah, that. Put, hold, hold up that image again. Look at the guy that said he's so proud of himself. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy that's with the him. dude that he made the joke to, he's disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I look can't. at look at his reaction one more time. Go back a little bit. Yeah, watch okay. what he says. Look at the guy he says it to. Watch. Okay. Too loud, just let me know. Honestly. <laughs> they can't, can't. Two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay, no, so I would be careful if I were you because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. <laughs> Here's Chris in Boston. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I want to talk about Missouri. See how proud of himself he was? <laughs> Bring his picture up when he's laughing again. <laughs> he's, he thinks this shit's so funny, he's about to bite his lip off. <laughs> he's like, I got off a good one right now. <laughs> well, okay, look, how do, okay, let me say this. You know what's going on, Keith? They're in a hotel, and you know how you, in every hotel, they got like a business center where you can go online, use a computer? Yeah, yeah. That's where he's at. That, that, Who gives a shit? That nigga in the back's probably waiting for the computer. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, that nigga's waiting for him to go outside. <laughs> According to Tony Maserati. Yeah. But uh, so let me say this. Okay, it's racially insensitive. But why, what I want to say this: Why do? Why did he make that observation about that? Because something happened to his friend. Yeah. That's how racism starts. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like um. Give you an example. Let's say you take an old lady walking up and down the street, right? Uh-oh. She's 80 years old. She got a purse. Uh-huh. A couple of niggas come up, rob her, take a purse, and push her on the street. Yeah. 
All right, next time she walked down the street, uh-huh. she gonna see if she sees some black people. She'll, oh, yeah, say goes. the Hodge twins is walking up. Even if, if it was just us walking up, right? <laughs> she was like, oh, well, hold, hold up. It's a couple more <laughs> here. <laughs> That's how racism starts. Yeah, it's like not- if I go in the club and I get jumped by a bunch of white men, shaved heads. Yeah. They're not even skinny as they got shaved heads, and they beat the shit out of me, right? Yeah. Next time I'm out and about and I see a bunch of white guys with, with shaved heads, what, what's the first thing that's going to pop my mind? <laughs> what's, what's the first thing that I'm going to just going to... Oh shit! Here we go again. More <laughs> skinheads. They bite the big yeah. shit out of me again. I remember I was a kid. I was probably about what nine, ten, yeah. ten years old. I grew up in Martinsville, Virginia. It's a rural area. I remember that, right? And uh, walking up the street, and uh, uh, this damn old pickup pulled up. A couple guys sitting there with mullets. Throw, they threw like Pep's blue ribbon beer cans at me <laughs> and told me to say the street. Oh, that ain't funny, man. That shit ain't funny. But later on, like, whenever I go walking somewhere and I see a damn truck coming out with a damn fucked up muffler going, I was like, oh, here we go again. Yeah. You know? It's That's, human nature, man. It's human nature. I mean, mm-hmm. how many times does somebody from a particular, particular race got to do something to you <laughs> before you be like, hold on, something, I'm starting to catch on to this shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's and, not being racist. It's being, it's being logical. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my it's problem ra- is, It's logical. Yeah, I agree with you, but it's it's, like, yeah. it's racial and sensitive. Yeah, it's racial yeah, and sensitive. Yeah. My point, my problem is this: Why do you say this live on air? Yeah, I mean, are you that damn stupid? Yeah, I would say this. You know, do you know the political climate we're living in right now? You yeah. can't make any. I mean, even though you may have been, eh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you do the Jewish people, they call it anti-Semitic, right? Yeah, anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism. He's generalizing a, 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 a group of people because of something bad happened. That's, that's just stupid. That's ignorant. That's wrong. It's a normal reaction, though. Yeah, it's a normal reaction. It's like when 9-11 happened. What happened? Uh, anybody got on a plane and looked like those people that did that from that mm-hmm. part of the world? Well, like, mean, excuse were... me. Um... Shut up. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't... I like to change my flight. <laughs> <laughs> I like to change my flight. Yeah, you got another flight? Yeah. What, tomorrow morning? That's cool. I'll wait. I'm not getting on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that was a normal reaction at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a human reaction. It's a human reaction. So if his friend turns out he got robbed by a couple of black guys for his car, mm-hmm. I mean. It was wrong for him to do that. You putting that message out there on live radio, if you're just joking amongst friends, we all do it. I do it. You do it. <laughs> we all do it. Yeah. Democrats do it. Republicans do it all the time. But you can't put that type of message out there on air because people are just too sensitive. Because you could, if you do that, you're kind of condoning that kind of behavior. And yeah. that kind of behavior is a behavior. It's a slippery slope to Racism. Just full, full, full fledged racism. He apologized, know? though, man. Yeah, he apologized. I yeah, think I think he's been suspended with no pay. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. You I mean, said that, that. He's, he, you was, I mean, you laughed so hard. <laughs> I mean, you got to have balls the size of watermelons to say that live on air. Well, either that, And then you laughing so hard, like nothing's going to happen to you. <laughs> Either That's got, the strange thing about yeah, it. Either he's got big balls or he's got a small brain. No, probably, he's, he's got... He's, he's probably a little both. You gonna say that on national... I mean... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, why? I mean, you gotta be crazy. You got to be white and to make a racially insensitive joke. Live on earth, there's video, there's sound, and you got the best quality of sound. Everybody can hear what you're saying. <laughs> and you just right there laughing so hard. It's like you want to get canceled. They gonna cancel him. It's up in Boston. I heard Boston man. Not saying this about Tony. Yeah, probably a cool guy. Yeah, I heard, I heard some stories from black some, friends from about black Boston. people up in Boston. Yeah, and it's a racist area. Yeah, he told me he it's said, a lot, "Well, it's not a racist area. It's some people that in the area is racist." <laughs> Stop generalizing people. <laughs> you do the same thing this uh, Tony Ricky Tony's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he told me. He, that racism he experienced in the Boston area. Yeah. And he went, he lived in Georgia. Yeah. Rural area. All these white people, converted flags, all these damn pickup trucks. He never experienced that down there. Yeah. We go up into the Boston area. Just stay away from them damn Italians. <laughs> <laughs> it was a damn good show. Damn good show. We're joking, by the way. Relax, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share the video.
Yeah, do all that. Yeah.